<laughs> are you going to do anything, or are you just going to stand there with your thumb up your ass? See, everybody finally sees what we deal with. Speechless. Mm. <laughs> There's a million ways to die. As Kurt would say, Goosh. Well. Well. Well, let's come over here then. That boy. Obviously not happy to see me. Hmm. Look, our thirty-first stupid off-road, super off-road. Ah, Wallace's record player. I'll use the on-off switch. That's fact. Little Abbott in the morning is fine. This baby is going overseas. And it is a beautiful piece of equipment. We took the pedals apart. The pedals actually attach by way of bolts and brackets here. But when we ship the machine, we're going to have the pedals off and the wheels off. Because that way he'll be able to move it more easily. And then we'll pack these and wrap these carefully so there'll be no damage game came out really nice. We had yellow tea molding throughout the machine. We did a little touch up here on the cabinet. Now, what I wanted to show you back here, we've converted this over to, what is it, 240? I think it's 220. I'm, I'm, it's either 220 or 40. We have a converter, a voltage converter here. So technically, we converted the voltage to the overseas voltage and we have it plugged into a transformer that converts it back to 110. <laughs> so we're doing the work twice. But this way, it's 220. There we go, there we go. This way the customer can just plug it right into a wall. We have the right plug on the end of it. He'll just be able to plug it in and play it. Nothing else. We've taken the logic board out. And we've put in a new lithium battery that's easy to change. He'll be able to change that very easily to hold the high scores. We also reflow solder on all of these Molex pins on the two boards. Boards are running nice and uh, clear picture, great sound, new power supply too. Of course, the transformer is new. And we have a brand new flyback transformer in our wonderful 7000 chassis. The very best the industry ever made. That's it right there, the very best. Fewest amount of parts, fewest problems, all new capacitors. That's a new fluorescent light in the top. Can't, you can't quite see it. It's, you know, I always wondered, see how big the top is, but it was always so dim. It was really bright. Now, this is Ivan Stewart's Iron Man Super Offroad. I've had people say, it's not Super Offroad, it's Offroad. I said, no, there's a Super in there. Super, but we call it stupid. Yes, you figured it out that we have all these goofy pet names for the different games. Frank came up with most of them, didn't you, Frank? No. <laughs> Everybody's so cross with me today. Look, see how nice the steering wheels turn? You could spin them with the tip of your finger. That's the way they're supposed to be. As Wallace says, they're buttery smooth, right, Wallace? Wallace, did you say? Buttery smooth. Did you use the term butter? It, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this? Not this, that. Oh, no. Not this, that. <laughs> Don't talk about this. This uh, is not any, even in the We pictures. have to ship this today. Uh, hey, I can wrap it up. Listen, you. in the next few days, you're going to be in shock when you see what we do with this. <laughs> All right, well, I'll start hoisting it up on the, the roof. We can show it to him today. Wait a minute. You have not seen the Vistatron until you've seen the likes of this one. All right, anyway, let's finish this up because we need to get this created. We put these on a C pallet. To ship anything overseas, the pallet itself 
has to be heat treated. So it has to have a symbol on it, it has to be a special, the wood has to be treated. It's kind of funny because the rest of the cabinets would anyway, but the pallet itself has to be heat treated or they won't accept it. So we put it on the pallet, it gets wrapped in plastic and cardboard, strapped both on the inside and out. We actually double strap all of our games. The chances of damage are almost zero, unless of course the ship does a Poseidon adventure. Then, then the game wouldn't be returning. But uh, so far, all of our overseas shipments have come through trouble-free, and then you would pick it up at a seaport. We have this great deal, 600 bucks. We can ship to any seaport in the world except for Antarctica. You've been watching our videos. Phone, doorbell, phone, doorbell. More, more phone than doorbell falls everywhere. Look at that gorgeous picture. Brand new piece of plexiglass on the front. I guess you're aware in this game, you can pick out your uh, you know, birth date and country. You can actually set what country you default on. I guess it would help if I stepped on the gas pedal. And as I speed along here, oh, what's that? What's that? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Uh oh. He's come up again. He's come up again. <laughs> Gone. I guess you think I'm mean. Anyway, what a great game. Uh, home releases. This came out in 89. A home release too, the home cartridges. There's tons of them, and I understand it was listed as one of the 30, the top 37th place of best games ever made. Ever, ever made something. Oh, there was also a track pack. Very clever, Cinematronics to drum up some more money. They came out with, I think it was eight more races, eight, eight more tracks. To change a bunch of chips on the board. These are the program chips, just so you see. See the ones with the labels on them? So these would come out, and then these carry the program, uh, or the, the ROMs, so to speak. And these can actually be erased and reburned if you, if you have a bad one. And look, they're running the old popular 7, the Z80. Z80 computer, there's two or three, I think, on the system. Great, great chip. That's what Pac-Man ran on. The There's Z80. three of them on Dig Dug boards. Remember that video? Yes, three on Dig Dug. That's right. Oh, trivia. What was the first game, first uh, video game ever to have a 68,000 microprocessor? That was like a Z80, but like, boomf. And it was Food Fight. Food Fight. And Food Fight was able to give you that instant replay. The chip was so big, they filled it with all kinds of stuff. Food Fight is such a great game. Funny no how you keep it. mentioning food and big. Well, I like food, and, and well, you know I'm a fighter, too. <laughs> Are you lazy, worthless, useless creatures just sitting around doing nothing again? That's what you want? I could do that. Well, one guy sitting down, so he Same game he was working on yesterday, you remember? Oh, he's I'll doing be doing this to the end of the week, don't worry. Uh, no, 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 no. Hey, Todd was telling us what a great fighter is. You guys want to bring him back to reality? What do think he can fight with as a plate of food? <laughs> the bigger the plate, the better. Anyway, keep watching. We're going to try to do another video today. What, what else do we need to do today, Frank? Today's Tuesday. Oh, stupid Mario Brothers, maybe. Hmm. Today's Frank's Tuesday. Favorite day. It's Blame Frank Day. It's my turn to be the scapegoat. It's also tomato race soup tonight. What? Dutch.
We'll see you soon. Are you still here?